Hey, come to the mall. Ah! What? What's the matter? Why are you so scared? I am the Mom! monster. I am Cherry of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Now I know what you're saying. Why, Cherry? That's not the voice you have in the show. I am an actor. What are you? What are you doing? Shut up, Mario! Oh, 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 why is this happening? Because it's creepy. I have shifty eyes. Ow! Ow! It's not fair. Ah! Is this is this my replacement? Is that it? Have you found a younger, more attractive puppet? Is that it? Am I being replaced? Maybe. This is a great day for. For me! I'm sorry, I'm not replacing you. Um. I got my hand out of there! Bubbles! You broke my dose again! Sorry? Bubbles! I got my hand stuck in there. That's That was horrible. Hey boys and girls, get ready for an all new toy review with Duvall and my best puppy pal, Puppy Duvall! Games and Kids. Hey gang, welcome to an all new review right here on ToyLoader.com starring me Duvall and my buddy Puppy Duvall. Mm. I didn't mean to break your nose, I'm sorry. Here, let me see if I can help you. It's okay, come here. I, I, I have some medical training, it's fine. Let me see if I can help you. Come here, ready? ready? I fixed it. You just have the worst luck on this show. What? Gang, we're back with another all-new review. Uh, last time we took a look at the uh, very cool kids play set of Baymax, the kids dress-up set, featuring the Baymax, <laughs> featuring the Baymax mask and the flying fist. Well, this time we're taking a look at another awesome, very cool oh, Bandai item from Big Hero Six. It's not anything that fires. How did you do this to hurt me this time? I have many ways, but not this time. <laughs> This time we're taking a look at the very cool uh, Deluxe Flying Baymax. Check this out, puppet. Look at this guy. He's pretty darn neat. Look at him. He's, he's huge. I know. He's kind of cool, isn't he? Uh, now this is this is very cool. Uh, this this no, big. Okay, well, no, we're kind of not the present. <laughs> this uh, this this giant uh, giant. Yeah, he is big. Uh, and it's even cool too because uh, of course the packaging here you can see. He also comes with a little uh, a little figure of Hero who is. Uh, who is kind of his uh, his his keeper in the film? He's the one that discovers Baymax. His brother, his older uh, brother in the film, protagonist? he is. Uh, his older brother is the one that invented Baymax, and his older brother unfortunately passes away, and he's left with the memories of his older brother. And he comes across Baymax, and Baymax ends up becoming a hero thanks to his uh, his background in robotics, uh, heroes, uh, and he makes costumes for the entire group, which is the Hero Six, including Baymax. So. Uh, this electronic Baymax is really cool, though. Of course, the packaging shows off uh, some great, great graphics, including uh, Baymax and Hero up here. And, of course, in the film, Hero rides on Baymax, as he does in this toy, um, as well as it uh, shows you he's got some... He does have uh, a firing fist, which, no! I, which I will not fire at you, I promise. Um, he's got some more information down here. He's got a giant, uh, giant wingspan, which is really cool on this figure. Uh, he's got some other great, uh, other great features like... Uh, depending on how you fly him with hero on it, the sounds change. And of course, he's got a little try me button here, which is pretty cool, which by pressing it. And of course, his mask lights up to show his eyes and uh, several different sounds for Baymax himself. 
Uh, and then the back of the box, and actually it shows you on the side here that Hero is actually magnetic. So he actually attaches the Baymax magnetically. So once he's on, there's no chance of him falling off while you're flying him unless, you know, you pull him off yourself, which is pretty cool. And then on the back it shows uh, some more features of the toy. Uh, it shows Hero, it shows how he connects, it shows the firing fist, the light up eyes, it shows the wingspan, and it shows the different ways uh, that you can fly. And when you tilt him different ways, he makes different noises. So uh, he's pretty darn cool looking, actually. Um, again, this this is going to be, I think, the big Christmas film of this year, the big holiday hit. And these toys are going to be probably a big deal this Christmas. So if you see, this is probably one of my favorites that I've seen uh, just that, uh, that are hitting now. But uh, we're going to open this up and take a look uh, at Baymax and see what we think. What do you think, Puppet Duvall? I'm on my armor! In case I shoot you in the face? Yes! Well, at least you're wearing Baymax's mask. Well, I'm gonna have access to. Good, fair enough. Well, let's open this guy up and let's take a look at uh, what we find inside. Alright, now that we got Baymax and Hero out of the packaging, I'm not gonna fire anything at you, I promise. I'm not lying, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna hit you with anything. I'm, I'm showing the people at home Baymax. Now, Baymax is kind of cool here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn his. Uh, Beta Max? Not Beta Max, not Beta Max. He, these kids, half of them don't even know what Beta Max is. How do you even know what Beta Max is? What's Beta Max? Beta Max here uh, is actually really, really poseable. He's got. Michael Bell? He's got articulation of the head. So you want to talk on the bow? His head can look uh, left and right there, so he can turn, which is kind of cool because uh, the light-up features in his head, so it's nice that he can move his head. Um, his shoulders here are nice. He's got the, he's got some uh, the, the shoulder armor here is jointed. It's, it's, oops. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it is made to pop off. <laughs> Don't don't listen to the puppet. No, yeah, no. Don't laugh at the silly mouth of breaking the toy. So anyway, it's got a little it's got a little joint right there so the shoulder armor can actually move as his arm moves, as you can see, so it can so it can move so it doesn't uh, doesn't hamper the arm. But the arm's actually got some really nice movement here, nice articulation on a big toy like this. Um, his uh, his elbow here can move, so he can bend his elbow right there like that, which is kinda cool. Um, no, he's got a little bit of articulation at the bicep, so he can move just a little bit left and right there, as you can see. He can just move just a little bit there. Um, his other arm's the same way. Um, of course, uh, this fist, this left fist here is the firing fist, so it actually can fire out of there with the press of the button right here on the top, which is cool. So put the fist back on here. Possibly. There we go. Um, he can turn left and right at the waist. The waist has some articulation there, which is nice. Um, his legs, the same way here. His, uh, as you can see, the, the leg armor here has a nice joint, just like the shoulders do, so they can... They can move as his legs move, which is cool. Um, now he's got articulation at the hip, so his hip can swivel. Um, his lower leg right above the knee here can swivel, which is cool. Um, his knees are ratchet joints, and his feet actually are posable. They can move, uh, so they can move uh, in and out there. They can move up and down, which is cool. So Baymax here, the big Baymax has got quite a bit of articulation. Uh, on the back here, the wings, there's a, a button here to press that spring up. Let's <laughs> spring out the wingspan there, which is pretty cool. And he's, he's got this really large wingspan, which is really nice. And those can uh, those can just pop back on. Also, the back here, it, it pops off. Of course, you can access the battery compartment, but you can also pose him uh, without his wings, because of course, with his wings on, you see the uh, you see the the upper sections of his wings and his wings. But you can you can display him without his wings here, which is kind of cool. As you know, he doesn't have the wings throughout the entire movie, so you can display him with or without the wings. And those simply just, they simply just snap on. They they literally, the two little pegs go on there and then it just snaps back together. So it's it's easy to take on and off, uh, it, you know, it comes off really easily. And again, you just press that button and the wings snap out, which is pretty cool. Now, little hero here is uh, is kind of neat. He's got articulation here at the legs, so his legs can move. Just, uh, just at the hip there, um, no knee joints. Um, no feet or anything, just his legs. Uh, he moves at the shoulders here, so his hands, his arms can move up and down. His hands uh, don't turn um, at all, uh, and he can move. He can move at the head. His head can turn, which is kind of cool. So uh, a little less posable than uh, than Baymax himself, but uh, still a very nice little detailed figure hero from the film. It's pretty cool. Um, now, in order to get Baymax all set up, of course, in the box he's on trimy mode. On the back here, there's a switch. You just turn it on, 
and he, he lights up. Um, there's also a little uh, a little button here that when you press it out, it pops out. Um, we are not entirely sure what this is, uh, as the instructions of the box does not say anything about it, but uh, I'm guessing in the film that comes into play somehow. Uh, but as of yet, I don't know. Now, with, I dropped here, I'll give you a minute to With the press of the button, right at his, uh, at his, right below his waist here, press it. Where Press the button. Of course, he, he makes noises. Some walking noises and powering up noises. So he cycles. He doesn't want to stand here. Hey, thanks, Bubba. No! Uh, the real fun of this comes into play when you attach Hero. Now, of course, um, let me take the wings off real quick so I can show you this. I'm gonna play Baymax down here. On the back Good of the Lord. wings, not Beyblade. Oh, on the back of the wings here are two little pegs, uh, as well as two spots here that uh, on his back are actually magnetic. Um, as you can see with, with his wings off, you can see the two little magnet points here um, that are that that are magnetic. Now you can take Hero and you can pose him just like this. His knees actually have holes in them for the pegs. So you, you put the uh, put the figure right there, push him down under the holes, like so. And then his hands, of course, his hands actually have magnets in them. So he actually has these little magnets in his hands. Oops. He doesn't, well, he doesn't want to stay. He never wants to stay on there very well. He always, he always pops off there. Where do we try to get him, get him settled? He always wants to fall off there. Oh my god! What are you doing down there? I didn't know what Apparently you did. No! Now with Hero on there, we'll connect the wings back up. Like so. Get his hands situated. And his hands, his little hand magnets, actually go in the holes on Baymax's back. So you have uh, you have Hero riding Baymax. You can pull out his wings. And then comes the fun part. You actually, when you tilt him... You see, when you tilt him up... Sounds like he's flying. Like flying in the air. When you tilt him down... Sounds like he's zooming in. Zoom, zoom. So you can actually fly him around and... Alright, it's okay. And then you can land him and then with Hero on the back, he actually says phrases from the film. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's a really neat toy. Uh, a lot of fun electronically. I love the little feature of of getting him in, getting him in, uh, getting him into flying position. Of course, his head tilts up so he can fly. You can see, it tilts up and down there, which is kind of cool. So he can you can actually get him flying with Hero on the back there. Are you all right there? Oh no. Uh, you alright? Okay, you sure? I told you to stop! I'm wearing sandals! Not no more. Oh. I asked you to stop. Very, very cool toy from Bandai. And of course, the Ooh. Firing Fist is a lot of fun. More! Revenge! Oh, God. Foam fists hurt so much! <laughs> you have fun too! Wow. <laughs> I think you broke my jaw. Good! No! No, Uban! 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 
a great release from Bandai. This is this is the uh, the collector piece for this line. If I if I had to say there was anything from this line to really seek out, of course, it's all great. Kids are going to love this line, but for collectors, um, if there's one major piece to go seek out, it is this awesome deluxe flying Baybacks. Because he's very cool. He is a great, great display piece uh, of a great character. Uh, even though we have not seen him in, a, in the film yet, uh, plenty of trailers out there to show exactly what this character is all about. Uh, it looks beautiful. It looks like a great movie. And like I said, it's the first Disney and Marvel animated feature. It's based on a Marvel comic. Um, it's going to be a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I personally can't wait to see it. Uh, Puppet's going to have to wait till DVD because I can't take him out anymore. Well, what happens, no! dude? It's what happens. No! Uh, special thanks to our uh, friends here at Bandai for sending this over for us to take a look at. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, now there are going to be there are some aspects of it I really don't like. I wish the arms could have a little bit more movement because it's kind of hard to get his to get his fist. Because I want to fire his fist straight, and you can't. You can only fire it from the side, like so, uh, which is kind of sad. Smells more. Uh, so you can't really. Can't you really, took your shot. I'm your fan. Can't really position his fist in order to fly straight, which uh, is is one of the only downfalls. But for a big electronic figure like this, um, he's got a, a, a bunch of articulation, which is really cool. Um, other than the fist, my only other gripe is that I wish I wish the actual hero figure had a little bit more articulation in him. I wish I wish he could be a little bit more poseable, so he wasn't kind of stuck in this little squat position. Um, I think that'd be cool. Thanks, buddy. Hello. I think that'd be cool. But uh, beyond those two uh, those two kind of faults of the figure, uh, I like the fact that you can, of course, you can take off his wings, which is nice. So you can display Baymax without his wings, which is pretty cool. Uh, which is probably how I'm going to display him without the wings with Hero standing next to him because that's this is how you see him most of the time in the film. You don't see him with his wings. So uh, it's a very cool looking figure. And like I said, it's a lot of fun. It's well worth going out hunting down and picking up, um, especially as we come to the Christmas season and kids are going to want stuff from this film. This is the one toy I think a lot of kids are going to want is this Deluxe Flying Baymax. So, I want one. Yeah, Puppet yeah. wants one. Uh, he's already got the mask for it. So there you go, gang. There's a look at the very cool Deluxe Flying Baymax from Bandai. Uh, again, thanks to Bandai for sending this along for taking a look at it. Uh, for taking a look at it. And we'll be back real soon with some all new reviews right here on ToyWorldRiver.com. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for those. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, youtubecom slash ToyWorldOrder. Uh, helps me support this one. I gotta support him somehow, right? Uh, and gang, until next time. Play with the toys, gang. We'll see you real soon. Awesome. Love it. Ah, no! No, 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 apparently not. Hello.